Hey guys, welcome to a Pixlr uh, image editing tutorial. Today we're going to learn about something called Tilt Shift. Now if you go to Google and you do an image search uh, on the subject on Tilt Shift, you'll find all these crazy looking images that almost look like little um, like little toys, but in reality they're pictures of actual real life scenarios um, but have either been given an, an effect or taking with a special tilt shift lens to give this almost toy effect uh, perception on the image. And so today we're, what we're going to do is we're going to use Pixlr and use one of its filters called tilt shift. So uh, first things first, obviously you go to pixlr.com uh, you're going to open its photo editor and uh, you know what I've done already is I picked out a couple of images that I want to use for this tutorial so I'm just going to open up an image here we go and this is a picture I believe of Manila in the Philippines I got this off a uh, stock image website I obviously paid uh, got the rights to the image to use it for this video um, but uh, you know, the thing about tilt shift images and using its effect, it works best when you have images of a lot of either small buildings or a lot of people or a lot of cars and there's some sort of depth um, in that image. Uh, and, and the only way to create that toy-like effect is to uh, have this kind of scenario. So something where there's a lot of buildings, a lot of cars, a lot of people, um, tilt shift uh, is a great um, effect to use. So inside Pixlr all you gotta do is go to this option called filter and it's called tilt shift click on that and what you're gonna notice now is that there is two choices focus size and focus location. Now the focus size is it's like depth of field. Uh, if you're familiar with how cameras work, especially DSLRs or 35 millimeter uh, cameras, they are able to control depth of field well with their aperture. Uh, now in this case, if I increase the focus size, more things will be in focus. Now if I shrink down the focus size number to zero, you'll see a lot of it get blurred. And you'll almost see right here where the uh, where my arrow is at, where the only area that's in focus is right there. It's a very tiny. So, you know, we're gonna open it up a bit, and you can, as you can see, this from here to about here is where it's in focus. Now, the focus location will shift the location of that focus. Obviously, as you can see, it moves up and down. If you go to the left, it, the focus goes up. You move to the right, the focus moves towards the bottom of the image. And so we're gonna we're gonna try and see if we can create a toy-like effect, um, you know, around this region right here, around this region right there. There's also an option to saturate. Uh, if you're familiar with saturation, it just adds a little more punch to the colors. Uh, and so if you think that will add to your image, then definitely definitely use saturation there. So I'm gonna turn that on and. Um, Maybe use that magnifying tool there. Change the view. Use the hand tool. You see the tools here? There's a little hand right there that lets you move it around. As you can see, using that tilt shift effect does give it a slight, almost toy like appearance in the image. You see the cars? They almost look toy like. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it and change it back on. And, um, so this is how the image looked prior. I'm right here on the History tab. And if I go from Open Image to Tilt Shift, you'll see the change. So Open Image, then Tilt Shift. You see that? It's a very subtle change, but it's enough to trick a person looking at the image that, um, uh, that there was some sort of Tilt Shift effect added. And what I'm doing here is I'm just typing in the percentage that I want to see of the image on the bottom left of this. And again, I'm using the hand tool in order to move the image around. So this is one example. Let's do one more. It's always good to have many examples. There's another image here. I don't know where this was taken, this shot, but I, again, I got it from another stock image site. 
Honestly, I think someone may have already used a tilt shift effect or a tilt shift lens to take this image, but I think we can uh, take it to another level here. So we're going to go to filter up here, hit the tilt shift option underneath kaleidoscope, and then we are going to, you know, set the focus to around 50. Focus location looks looks good where it's at and hit that saturation button and add a little more color it's always always a good thing that's if it's the style you're going for uh, and now you can almost see a toy like effect okay we're gonna go to open image everything looks okay everything looks great in the image and then turn that on it's very subtle I, um, you know these may not be the best I was trying my my best to find some better examples but um, I mean definitely look at this all these buildings definitely look like little toys and that tilt shift effect definitely adds to that um, you know to that quality that these things look like little uh, like little toys look at these buildings look at all these they look like tiny little ants, tiny little toys. There's the before, there's the after. Honestly, it's quite subtle. Um, like I said, try more, trying, uh, try it on different images. You might get better, better look at it. Um, but um, there you go. That is the tilt shift effect on Pixlr. So if you don't have a tilt shift lens on your camera, you can definitely fake the effect using this filter here in this program so that's it for the, t the tutorial hope you liked it make sure you like or subscribe to our to my channel i will definitely be adding some more pixlr tutorials in the future